Hey everybody, Spray Dog Billy here doing song number 284 in 284 days in a row. We haven't missed yet. Started on August 7th. Doing one song a night until this uh, COVID-19 pandemic is brought under control and we can go out and play some regular gigs again with the whole band, drums and guitars and more keyboards. Please check our website, straydog.org, where I got my nickname, Stray Dog Billy, which I'll explain in a minute. After tonight's song, today we're going to do uh, uh, a Linda Ronstadt tune called Maybe I'm Right, written by Wadi Wachtel. Here we go. Maybe I'm right. Maybe she's wrong. I'm saying is the way it should be. Nobody knows when the truth goes by. But everybody tells me she's happy. that tune uh, written by Wadi Wachtel. Yes, please check out our website, straydog.org, where I got my nickname, Stray Dog Billy, short for Stray Dog Bill Arnold, after co-founding a no-kill dog shelter back in 1994. In 1997 then, three years later, we became a Texas nonprofit corporation with the official title, Stray Dog Incorporated, official name. And, uh, we uh, then in 1998 we became a Texas. A, I'm sorry, we we get received from the IRS 501c3 tax exempt status, making all donations and contributions to the shelter tax deductible. So that's a good thing. Adoptions. Adoptions are going uh, 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 better now than they have in the past. As a matter of fact, in uh, all all across the United States, from all the shelters and pounds, are adopting out more and more dogs and cats than, than they used to. In 2019, the latest total figures we have, uh, uh, the shelters across the country adopted out 3.2 
million dogs and cats. 1.6 million dogs and 1.6 million cats happen to be an even number that year, which is an average of over 4,300 dogs and over 4,300 cats adopted out every single day of the year in 2019. So that's a great thing. And uh, those 3.2 million dogs and cats, uh, they got to experience uh, living in, in loving homes. And most importantly, the 3.2 million dogs and cats in 2019 uh, got to live. So that's, that's really, that's the important thing there. And unfortunately, however, unfortunately, we are still having to euthanize as a society, as our, our last resort method of controlling population of dogs and cats. Tragically, we are having to euthanize 1,700 dogs and cats still every day, nowadays, now. Every day, we're having to euthanize that many because we can't find adoptive homes for them. No matter how hard we try, that's 1,700 that didn't make it every single day. And this statistic is from uh, Best Friends Animal Society uh, out in Utah at bestfriends.org. You can see a lot of other good statistics on there and, and uh, what they're working on to try to make this a no-kill nation, which is really important. We've got to get there. Uh, and a daily average of 1,700 dogs and cats being euthanized because we can't find homes for them, that's more than 620,000 per year. A tragic number, but far fewer than the 2.6 million we were euthanizing in 2011, just 10 years ago. Uh, so, and that was about 7,000 a day compared to 1,700 a day. Then even farther back, 50 years ago in, in 1970, 51 years ago, uh, we were uh, euthanizing as a whole nation across the whole country, 15 million dogs and cats every single year, which is 41,000 dogs and cats euthanized every day because we couldn't find homes for them. So what do we got to do uh, to close the gap between euthanasia and adoptions? Uh, well, it's conception control. We've got to, we've got to uh, achieve conception control, which means <clears throat> you don't let dogs and cats, <coughs> excuse me, you don't let dogs and cats conceive and have more and more puppies and kittens. And how do you do that in the dog and cat world? Simple, spay and neuter. So everybody, please spay and neuter your pets. Let's get this thing under control. Oh yeah, there are two more disturbing facts that I found in my research. Uh, nine out of 10 euthanized animals are adoptable or would have been adoptable. Nine out of 10 are healthy animals that could have been adoptable, dogs and cats, nine out of 10. And the other disturbing fact is that we spend between one and a half billion and two billion dollars per year on animal control, including <laughs> euthanasia. Uh, anyway, let's get control of this thing through spay and neuter, everybody. And adoptions. We'll be right back. Or no, we won't. We'll be back tomorrow with another, another song from the Stray Dog Billy One Man Band. Good night, everybody.